Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, back today for the full tutorial of the repeat shadow effect. Um, if you didn't see the video yesterday, um, I just did an effect in Vegas, so it kind of like um, repeat the shadow if you're running or jumping across a map. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you it again in case you missed the video yesterday. If you've already seen it, just skip 20 seconds forward and we'll jump into the tutorial. So yeah, that's the uh, repeat background effect that I showed you yesterday. Um, so what we'll do is, in the description below, there's going to be a downloadable link which has um, pretty much the, the shots that I use. I put some cinematics in there for you in the actual clip, so if you don't have a capture card uh, or you're not editing a montage at the moment, you can use these clips. I think it's, um, it's this one here. So make sure you extract it first, drag it into Sony Vegas, and there we go. Um, I think one of you two you mentioned yesterday this tutorial had been done in After Effects, which I wasn't aware of, but I'm going to bring you the Sony Vegas one anyway, just in case you, you know, you're know you not confident with After Effects yet. Um, in this video I provided, um, what I've done is I've left a few black, you'll see now there, um, so you can cut those out just by pressing S on the keyboard and put your own transitions in. The one I did was just a crossfade, so if I just quickly show you, um, in fact what we can do is press U on the audio and then just press delete so we got rid of that and then if you go to like one of the black choose your arrow keys to go across so you can see that there's about five or six black frames there press S on the keyboard go to the next clip where it starts you can zoom in a bit to get more accurate press S again so now you can cut that black bit out and basically add any transition you want in between, to in between <laughs> those two clips all I did is just um, a cross fade like that just drag them across if you see now as you go across like this They'll just blend from one clip to the next like that. Pretty nice transition. Um, on to the tutorial. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just find the part where, what we're actually going to be working on today. And it's... Um, let's have a look. So, that'll do that. Let's delete these first parts. And let's go to the end of the clip. There. Right, so a few of you came close to guessing what, it would, what we'd do. Um, split. Right, so what you first of all need to do uh, for this effect is add uh, a few extra video lines. Depending how many shadow repeats you want, um, today I'm just going to show you like two or three. You can add, like I said, you can add as many as you want. So in, just keep clicking, right clicking over here, insert video track. And all we need to do is repeat this layer a few times. So you can click on it, just go copy, and then just press Control V, go to the next line, Control V, Control V. So there we go, we've got four video tracks. The bottom one is always going to stay untouched because that's our, uh, the standard layer which you need for all of it. Uh, so go to the top layer, and all you want to do is use your arrow keys and then determine where you want the first, um, the first shadow to be cast. So for example, that could that'd be fine for me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to press S on the keyboard to split and just delete this end section like that. So now you've got here, go to the last frame of the top line like so and make sure it's on best full and then click save sh snapshot to file make sure it's on PNG for the best quality and click save wait a second or two and it will now drop into your project media bin all you need to do is drag that down to here and you can shorten it up a bit just to make sure it's to the end and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the event pan crop button uh, you need the pro version of Sony Vegas 9 or 10 to do masking. So click the mask button like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the zoom tool. Click on the guy like this until we get it close enough like that. And then all you're going to simply do is grab your pen tool, the anchor creation tool, and simply just mask around the guy. Um, you don't have to do it particularly on the ones that are far away because, um, you know, you can't really see it anyway, especially when we've blended it in. So I'll just quickly whip around this guy. I'll speed it up a little bit now. So once you got to the end of like so, 
uh, then all you need to do is just click the exit button and you can now see if it was to move all the other wires, just move them out of the way a second you're just left with that but obviously if you put another layer underneath there you go you can see that it's that you know the map's still behind it um, so then what you need to do is then use your arrow keys again to go across and find where you want your second um, sh shadow to be cast so for me that would be fine about there remember to press S on the keyboard and then delete the end section and then all you need to do oops, go to the end frame again save snapshot to file save it again like so and drag in the photo to the end pull it to the end of the clip like so and then simply you may have to zoom in a little bit go to the event and crop and the same thing again make sure you tick your mask button zoom in to get a more accurate mask and then just mask around the guy again so I'll speed this part of the video up there you go so we've got the second mask and then it's just simply using the arrow keys to go across again go for the third one press S on the keyboard again Oop, not on that way, on the way below. Move that out of there, delete that. Then simply click save snapshot to file again. <coughs> Pull that down and just repeat the, the process again. Do the masking. Again, I'll just speed it up very quickly. So there you go, um, you can be a bit neater obviously going around yours, I'm just trying to do it for the tutorial. And then if you use your arrow keys again, you then continue into the clip like so. And then, but the actual clip that I'm providing with you is a bit better than this one, it's similar obviously, same shot, but if you're doing this effect, you must make sure that the, the actual um, bit that you've captured is, you know, not moving. I think in this one, this is where I redid really it, is that you can actually see the clock tower to the left up here moving so that means your pictures kind of move and doesn't look as good but the one that I'll be providing uh, will be great for you guys um, and then the next step is obviously this looks a bit you know too um, too solid so all you need to do is for each one uh, go down so if you start at the top go to the top of this line and drag the opacity down like that so you can see the the first guy up there uh, becoming a lot fainter which makes it just look a bit more professional and you know not as solid and just makes it look a bit smoother so just drag these opacity down to where you think looks nice like so and there you go and that's um, how you do like the repeat shadow effect and then obviously you could just have the next clip after that like the cinematic I use as he's running away and straight into it so yeah um, that's how you to do it if you've got any questions or queries as normal uh, just feel free to leave me a personal message or a comment um, if you found this tutorial useful, you know, please do give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I've got a lot more tutorials in the pipeline, so stay tuned for those. Um, thanks for watching.